nice and crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Pity I still have to do some work in order to get them. Well, these are the uh, ingredients. Of course, I've got flour, and this is Tipo 00 Italian flour, about 500 grams. I have yeast, I have sugar, I have salt, I have water, I have olive oil, I have an egg that is going to be slightly beaten and put on the crust after proofing, I have sunflower seeds to put on top, I have poppy seeds, I have sesame seeds, and I have millet. And this is a special sort of millet, it's sweet millet. I saw it in a shop and I thought, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, this is uh, day one. You got your sugar and you got your salt. So I can do all this with one hand. Just on the lowest. Uh, When you're done mixing the dough, um, form it into a ball and put it into an oil container. I always leave it out of the um, fridge for about one hour so I can see that uh, something is happening with the dough and then I put it into the fridge. So uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. That's going to be like two frames from now. Okay, so uh, hoppa, here is the dough. I've turned it out on a lightly floured table. And I'll have to divide this into 12 equal pieces, make them into little rolls and uh, put them on my proofing tray. Cookie thing. Um, okay, I'll set up the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Yesterday I uh, uh, realized that the and the cereal seed mix that I have uh, here, kind of loosely based on Kaiser's uh, seed mix on his pan de cereal in Paris. Um, I'm going to put that on top of uh, some of the German rolls. Um, if any of you are interested, this is two tablespoons of each of blonde linseed, uh, dark linseed, uh, sesame seed, black sesame seed, and two tablespoons of millet. Yeah, that's it.
Now these last three, I'm going to do a little experiment with. And uh, for that, I need to pin you back a little bit to this side. And a uh, little bit of... Well, you get, you get the drift. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is with these, I'm going to make them into um, Kaiser Brötchen, but I have never used it, and quite frankly, neither have I any idea how to do this. I'm just going to do it. Oh, I think that's kind of cute. So there you go. Once you've got them in the oven, uh, you bake them for uh, about nine minutes on 220. Then you turn the tray and you bake them for another nine minutes and that should be uh, enough.